the profound importance of love. Is it just a biological urge? In the epic story that is Les Miserables, Victor Hugo writes about a bishop, Monsieur Bienvenu, who when stricken with blindness is sustained by the loving care of his sister. To be blind and to be loved is in fact in this earth where nothing is complete one of the most strangely exquisite forms of happiness. The supreme happiness of life is the conviction that we are loved, loved for ourselves, say rather loved in spite of ourselves. This conviction the blind man possesses, light is not lost where love enters. Here love is seen as something even more tangible than light and many agree that love is what really matters in life. While we may have a vested interest in resisting the idea of moral absolutes, it's easier to accept that love is profoundly important and real. Our bodies need food and water, but without love we die even though we live. Love sustains us even in the darkest valley of death. But is love more than a feeling? Were Elvis Presley and John Lennon just singing about a biological mechanism to propagate genetic information? Is my love for my wife and my children simply a carrot held before me by my dispassionate genes? Or does this sparkling stream have an eternal source? The profound nature of love points to a being who is love and who exists eternally in intimate, loving and joyful relationship. A being who invites us to travel upstream to know him in receiving and reciprocating his love. For this reason, I think love is another piece of the God puzzle. Monsieur Bienvenu describes the self-sacrificial love he receives from his sister as God made tangible. What bliss! The heart, that obscure celestial flower, undergoes a mysterious blossoming. In the Bible, Jesus' act of self-sacrifice not only displays love, but defines it. It reveals a God who loves us despite our failings and is prepared to pay a huge price to do so. Through the cross of Christ we are, like the velveting rabbit, loved into a life that lasts for always. <laughs>